show you how to decorate plain mugs and turn them into really fun, colorful bubble mugs. We're obviously going to need some mugs so we're going to decorate. Try to get a light colored mug because the colors of the bubbles will really pop on that. So this is an off-white which is perfect for what we're going to do. Also make sure your edge of your mug is kind of thick. Don't get a really thin delicate teacup or anything because we're going to bake it in the oven later. You don't want it to break. And lastly, but very importantly, make sure, look on the bottom of your cup, make sure it says that it's microwave safe because we're going to bake it so it has to be able to withstand heat. And if it says dishwasher safe, that's also interesting because, you know, some of you will have a dishwasher and will want to put these in the dishwasher. I just wash by hand, but still, you know. <laughs> We're also going to need some paints. These are porcelain ceramic paints. The paints I'm going to use are by the brand Marabou. I have quite a few things from them and I really like the quality of their stuff. So yeah, <laughs> I will list everything in the description box below also, you know, all the materials I'm using. So get some of these paints. Another brand is fine too, of course, but you have to make sure you can bake the paint in your regular oven. Very important. Then another thing we're going to need is some sort of tray. <laughs> this is just like a lid of something, but something that's not too deep. We're going to put our bubbles in here. So if you want it bigger, that's fine too, but then you will lose a lot of paint. So that's why I'm getting this really small little tray, which will work. You will see. You're also going to need water. I also like using a pipette just because it's easier to get the drops of water to go in my paint, but it's optional. Some stir sticks are handy too. What I always do is I just cut, these are cotton buds, and I just cut off the cotton parts and they make awesome stir sticks. Another thing we're going to be using is some dishwashing soap. We're also going to need one or more drinking straws. And then finally, it's important to cover your work surface. Get some plastic or um, newspapers or something because when you're blowing the bubbles, it can kind of splash everywhere. So, you know, you just want to <laughs> make sure you don't paint your surface where you're working on. Pour some paint into your tray and add water. My pipette was broken, so I'm using a syringe without a needle instead. Also, add a good amount of dishwashing soap and mix everything well. There's no set ratio to this. Hold your straw into the paint mixture, blow in it, and if no bubbles are formed, you'll need to add more water and or more soap. When bubbles are formed, make sure they come above the edges of your container and don't pop on their own. Carefully push some of your mug into the bubbles. As you can see, it creates a very nice effect. Do the same thing on more areas of your mug and then let it dry a little bit before moving on to the next color. in another color. Make sure your mixture is always liquid but not so liquid that it will drip down your mug. You also need to maintain a vivid color. Adding too much water or soap will result in bubbles that are barely visible on your mug.
so far, make sure to let me know by clicking the like button. Continue to repeat the same steps and don't forget to let every color dry a little bit before moving on to the next color. It's pretty when you let some of the colors overlap. Here you can see how you can wipe something off if you don't like it. This color was way too light, so I wiped it off with a wet paper towel. Creating bubbles behind the ear of the mug is not easy, so I'm just creating a fake bubble effect by dipping a piece of paper towel into my paint mixture and dabbing it onto the mug. I also dipped the end of the straw into another color and created little circles. Then I softened them by dabbing over it again with the paper towel. I also created more of the bubble solution, carefully dab my finger in it and dab the bubbles onto the mug. When your mugs are painted completely, make sure to let them dry well. Even though the instructions on the paint say you can bake them after 4 hours, we added water and dishwashing soap, so our mugs will take much longer to dry. I recommend letting them dry overnight before baking them in a cold oven for 30 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius, that's 320 degrees Fahrenheit. When they're done baking, let them sit in the closed oven until it has cooled down completely. Now your mugs are all done. Aren't they beautiful? Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Bye!